on our uh, red flag orders. And uh, if you haven't seen part one, go back and watch that. Otherwise, just jump in here. But basically, uh, you know, red flag orders, right? They're these these orders where they can just come take your guns if they feel like you're a danger to yourself or whatever. Some states have them, some states don't. So what are we going to do about it? Uh, the first thing I think we should do is vote accordingly, right? And I don't just mean at the national level. I, I mean in this one specifically at the local level. You know, your state and then your municipality, uh, county, that kind of thing. Uh, that's really where these things are getting implemented is on the statewide level. So voting there is going to have the most impact on uh, preventing these things and then rolling them back because they need to go away. Uh, they're, they're a danger. We talked about it in the first video, but, you know, police showed up for one of these things and someone died, not a police officer, the guy whose guns were getting confiscated, uh, died as a result of this stupid order, right? Because he decided he didn't want to give up his rights. So uh, we need to vote. Uh, you need to be a member of, of the NRA. I agree with, I don't know, 50 to 70 percent, depending on the day of what the NRA does. Uh, but I'm still an NRA member, right? Because they are about the only national organization that is that is fighting for gun rights in a positive way. Again, I don't agree with everything they do. Um, there's a lot of stuff I disagree with. But overall, they're on our team as far as defending gun rights on the national level. So if you're not an NRA member, uh, you need to be one. That, that, that's something you need to give your money to. Uh, and that's something you can, they help you inform you of what's going on so that you can respond to that. Uh, well, you need to contact your, your city officials often, right? Um, or excuse me, your, your city and state officials here. I mostly talk about state officials, uh, county as well, but state, county, city. You need to contact those, those governing officials uh, and tell them you don't like these laws, right? If, if one does exist, you need to contact them to tell them that this is dangerous and explain why it's dangerous. Uh, if none of them do exist, you need to contact them to make sure that it stays that way, right? We don't want those laws here. They're dangerous. They take people's rights away. They put people's lives needlessly in danger. Uh, you, you need to contact those. So, per, you know, an ounce, uh, ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure, as, as the saying goes. And this is really one of those circumstances where we need to prevent uh, these things and politically roll them back, Right? Let me tell you what, we're going to talk with us in the next two videos, but the moment you lose is when they show up to your door and it's 5 a.m. to take your guns away, right? That you've, you've, to some degree or another, already lost there. So as much as we can be politically active on the front end to prevent that from ever getting there, that is the most effective strategy here. That's winning, is that these kinds of laws don't exist to begin with. So... Uh, I encourage you to get out there. If you if you don't even know who your direct government officials are, uh, you should find that out. You should talk to them. Uh, and like I said, this is really a state-by-state -state issue. So you need to find out if your state has these laws. You need to find out what can be done about it. And you need to contact your officials to get rid of those. Uh, the other thing, I'm in Minnesota. Uh, in Minnesota, we have the Minnesota Gun Caucus. Uh, phenomenal statewide uh, gun rights organization. That, that I'm a member of and that I would highly recommend to you if you're in Minnesota. Uh, but if you're not, there's probably a good state's rights uh, gun organization in your state, right? There's probably an organization that you can give your money to, that you can volunteer with, that's really doing a good job of fighting the good fight for your rights just on that state level. And if you can find one like that and, and be a member of there as well, in addition to the NRA, then so much more the better. But be politically active so we can prevent these things from ever happening. That, that's where we're going to win. That's the best place to win. Because it doesn't have to go further than, than voting and talking. And that's what we want. So get out there. Talk to people. Do brave deeds. And endure.